excited are we? Welcome, everybody. I'm Sean Parr from the nationally syndicated radio show across the country. This is day one of week number six already on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. We have been traveling across the country having a great time, and you know that because over eight and a half million of you have tuned to eight and a half million. That's so that cool. is awesome. Can you believe this? And it's like family week here this week, and I love this so much. We missed them last week, the Jurgies. It's great to have you back oh, so with our, you our girls on the road, and I know you've been traveling a lot. Yeah, guys, we weren't here last week because we were hiding treasures across the country as we were coming out west. So we had one clue go up yesterday, and that treasure was found within two yeah, within two hours. We're having a few more come up. Follow us on Instagram, at the Jurgies. These treasures are for $500, a free RV as well. Look out. And uh, listen, Nelly, we're going to be giving away a lot of stuff, over $250,000 worth of giveaways, as always, during the RV show. Oh. And how do they get that? All they got to do is just text URVS or comment below to 46642. It's that simple. And why wouldn't they? Why exactly. Wouldn't they? Let's get you registered. I'm Let me registered. introduce you to some amazing new people. And I'm so excited about the Flippin' Tilbies. Sean, Renee, it's so great to have you guys here. Great they have here. five kids <laughs> on the road with them all the time. And you guys do a lot of renovating of RVs. And we you've do. been through over 20 of them now. We have. So we have renovated about four, but we have fixed and resold some that we haven't renovated. We're into over 20, probably about 22 at this point in time that we have bought and sold. Well, it's a full house all the time with the <laughs> Tilbys. And of course, uh, Sean, the fifth wheels is a great section that we're going to go into. We're going to talk about the Jayco fifth wheel section. And you guys have lived in a fifth wheel for a while. Yeah, we've, we've had several fifth wheels throughout the years. And we just like how much better they are to tow. We like the height inside the ceiling height. You know, I'm not as tall as Bryce, for example, but when you get get into the, some of the smaller travel trailers, the height really just opens it up a lot, and they just tow so well. Well, here's my favorite section to get started with, week number six, day number one. We're going to talk about the Jayco, uh, the Jayco fifth wheels. You guys know about them. We'll get into that a little bit later, but Ian is standing by. He's got the Eagle 357 MDOK. Wait until you see this kitchen in this one. Ian, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, week six of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, and I am so excited. Thank you, everyone, on stage. And today, right now, we're going to do the Jayco fifth wheels. And I'm super excited for these because they're higher-end fifth wheels, right? We get to go through a ton of absolute beautiful fifth wheels for you to see a couple different styles of floor plans. This one right now has big dual opposing slides, giving you that rear living space, theater seating right across the TV, plus you get the bonus room and a ton of features outside as well. This is the 2021 Jayco Eagle 357 MDOK. And this one is essentially a what they call a bonus room or a mid bunk fifth wheel, right? Um, and so if you're not familiar with that style of floor plan, the big advantage is, as I mentioned, you still get a rear living. A lot of times if you have bunks, they're either generally in the very back of the RV, which takes up, you know, kind of the, the best spot in an RV, or they put them up front. Uh, but a lot of times in the fifth wheel, you'll find them in the back. However, with this layout, they put that bunk room in the center, which gives you that space to be able to hang out and uh, just kind of entertain, right? Now, this particular one can sleep up to seven different people. If we start over on the camp side, because as I mentioned, this one has two slides, so it helps open that up. But you'll see right here, you get a freestanding table and chair so that you can have everyone sit around here, everyone can have a meal together. You get kind of uh, three sets of windows, right? Rather than having one big window, and it, this looks really cool outside. When we go out there, you can take a look. I, I, I do like that they kind of split it up. And then you can open each individual window as well. So that way, you know, if you want a little bit more airflow, not a problem. And then you also see the window on the side of this slide there, as well as the lighting up top. So it does a great job, whether it's daytime or nighttime, keeping everything nice and bright. Now you will see as we go through, you have the two-tone wood, right? We kind of have like the, the cottage white in here which uh, Jayco came out with last year, and it really kind of took the industry by storm. So many people absolutely loved it. Now, it's not for everyone, and that's okay, because there are other options too. But if you like it, you kind of like that farmhouse look, then you definitely will love uh, all these Jaycos that we will have coming up. You will also see storage across the top. Open that up just to give you an idea of how deep that actually is. And you will also see that it's strut supported. We start talking about, you know, some luxury features, and sometimes it's a smaller things like this. 
that start to stand out, right? That way, it, the reason for it, just so you know, the reason it's nice is because you don't have to hold it up with one hand, right? It, which seems obvious, but as you're reaching in here, it can be a really big pain to try to hold it up because it is such a deep storage space. So I love they put the struts on there. Now, big TV, it, you can see that whether you're sitting in the theater seats, laying down on the couch back here, whatever it might be, uh, but it's, it is plenty large and underneath is that multimedia center with speakers, so you're getting that great sound quality. And I love what they did here. You know, again, kind of gave you like a shiplap or like a, like a rustic wood look, almost like a reclaimed wood. So I, I, again, you know, I think they knocked it out of the park, kind of bringing that farmhouse style to the RV industry. You can see the fireplace down underneath. Now, not only does that look great, but folks, that also is a space heater. And so if you want to just kind of take the chill off in this space, you don't want to burn propane to run the furnace, turn that guy on, you'll be rocking and rolling. And, it'll, and again, it'll help heat it up. You will also see right here, the vinyl flooring, right? It's, it's, see, it's almost seamless. I mean, it's hard to tell where the slide starts and stops. I mean, if you look really hard, you look close enough, you can see it, but normally you don't. It just blends right in. I love that they did that. Uh, it just kind of gives that continuity throughout the entire floor. Across the back, you have your love seat, two large cushions right there. This, of course, folds out into sleeping space. So, you know, that's part of that uh, capability of sleeping seven is right back here. You'll have end tables on both sides for beverages, windows all the way around, and additional storage going across the top. Now, while we're taking a look up high, you'll also see this one has a ceiling fan up here as well as Whisper Quiet AC. So if you want to be able to, you know, talk to each other without yelling at each other or be able to watch the TV without, you know, turning it up to, to 75, uh, having that Whisper Quiet AC will definitely benefit you because that will make that AC 30 to 35% quieter while keeping the same amount of cooling, right? Still 15,000 BTU, so it will help cool things down in here nice and quickly. Uh, as I mentioned, the theater seats right down here, you'll see that this is the Stacy Stewart collection. Uh, that is kind of a tip of the hat to Jayco's designer. She is, uh, her name, of course, is Stacy Stewart, and she does a beautiful job. I mean, from the woodwork to the uh, color of the furniture in here to the flooring, you know, going up into the bedroom, we'll see it doesn't stop there. I mean, just an absolute phenomenal job all the way throughout. These are very comfortable. Uh, they just have kind of like the ripcord style pull. In order to have the feet come out, drop them right back in, you will see your cup holders, and then a little bit of additional storage uh, right there for remotes or whatever else you need. Now, because we are in higher end fifth wheels, to no surprise, when you move into the kitchen, you get solid surface countertops. That's kind of what we'd expect, right? You know, the nice high end, true solid surface on here. You get some prep space right here, plus a three burner cooktop with a glass cover if you want to use that as prep space as well. That, of course, will just fold right up and back just like so opening up your three burners, the front one there being high output. Your knobs do light up, you can turn it off if you so choose. Uh, the oven, in case you wanna do a little bit of baking, and this one also comes with storage there underneath. Another thing you will see is plenty of drawer space and big drawers, and did you see that right there? Did you get that, Fritz? That is slow close drawers. And again, that's one of those, you always start talking about little things that you will notice. You know, that's, uh, if you have that in your home, you know how uh, lovely that is, especially if you have grandkids coming that are slamming drawers shut, or maybe you are yourself, that will help prevent that slam. It's just a nice, slow close. I personally love it. Now, if you want to listen to some music, this one is prepped for the Furion Bluetooth system, so you can just plug it in right there. Uh, the cool thing about that is that charges it, and it's portable, so you can take it outside if you want. Uh, but right there, you're good to go, have music planned. Microwave up top. And then, of course, the kitchen islands. Talk about that for a second. So, so some, uh, some unique things here that you don't see in a lot of other fifth wheel brands. Now, you know, when you have solid surface, of course, you're going to undermount the bowl because why wouldn't you, right? It's cleaner, it's better, it, it, it looks nicer. You don't have the rim where a bunch of dirt and stuff is going to collect. And you have the drinking water faucet. I'll show you in just a second, there's a jug of water underneath you can uh, fill up, so that way no matter where you're at, no matter what kind of water you're pulling into the RV, even if you do have the filter, you know that this is you know, good, clean drinking water. You also see the high-rise pull-out faucet making it easier to wash and rinse dishes, plus the power tower over here to the side, in case you need to plug anything in, anything uh, auxiliary equipment there into the kitchen. Now, if you come around here, I do just wanna show you. So. Right down there is a spot for a trash can, which I absolutely love. You will also see sink top covers right over here to the side. So if you want to throw those on there, you can. Uh, it's going to be a cutting board and a uh, drying rack, I believe. And then right there, 
is your jug for the, uh, for the drinking water faucet. So again, it's a dedicated line just running straight to that. Works very well. Some additional storage over to this side for pots and pans. Another drawer here, plus again, a little bit of storage there. Uh, you know, not a ton, but at least it kind of completes the look. I'd hate to not have a door there. It would look uh, very odd. You have the fridge freezer combo. This one is uh, both propane and electric. Beautiful woodwork on that too. Again, kind of that white cottage look throughout. Now let me show you in here because this is kind of what makes this floor plan, right? This is that bonus room or the bunk room. Over to this side is the bunk. This one has 300 pound weight capacity if someone is sleeping on it. Now they rate it for 200 pounds if you use it for storage because a lot of times, right, that weight will be just on one side. It's not as evenly distributed as someone laying on it. Uh, but this does uh, you know, pop up just like so. You can lock it into place just like that. Opening up that sofa right down below. This also folds out into a sleeping space. And across the way here, you can hook up a TV. So if you just want another place to watch TV, right? Like whether, um, you know, you, you just want to watch something else than what's on in the main living space. You want to hook up a gaming system. If you want a desk because you're doing work, you have all that available plus plenty of storage. You can see that here as well as right down below and in the desk itself. So great storage all the way throughout here. Now, as we make our way back out, right, you know, and we, we kind of make our way upstairs here, we'll see a couple of quick things. Um, one of them, well, I guess they're not quite upstairs, but as we come right out, you will see the pantry right there. So this one does have pantry space. If you want to remove these, you can have this as a uh, coat closet. So that way, as soon as you walk in, you can hang up some jackets. But just know that you do have it in the stairwell right here too. So again, you want to come in, hang up jackets, you can do that. Making our way up the steps, this is another big one, folks, with the mid bunk. This one does come with the loft, giving you that additional sleeping space right up there. And then uh, I'm going to actually, Fritz, why don't you show everyone the bathroom? Well, take a quick peek in the bathroom here, and then I'm going to have them show you the bedroom. Beautiful bathroom, porcelain bowl, nice big countertop, true tile backsplash, big shower in here, linen closet you know, backlit mirror. And then if you take a look up front, I mean, it doesn't stop there. You have the gorgeous bedroom up there with the TV, the slide out bed, you know, their wardrobe up front. I mean, folks, this thing, you know, from front to back is absolutely beautiful. But immunity, uh, the amenities don't stop on the inside. As we come out, you'll see the Eagle does a great job. Let's come on up to the front here. I just wanna show you a few things. One of the things I really like is this. A lot of manufacturers will have a rear backup camera prep. Not a lot of them will have the side camera prep. So that way, you know, this is a big rig. You know, you have extra blind spots. As you're going down the road, you put on that blinker, you want to be able to see what's there. Now you have the capability to do that on both sides. Just makes driving a little bit easier for you. And you know, sometimes, especially if you're a little bit newer to RVing or this is the first time you're getting a rig this size. I mean, you know, this one's almost 42 feet long, right? So having something like that can be very beneficial. Beautiful front cap there with plenty of lights dropping down underneath. You will see kind of the front storage compartment right up there as well as the auto level. Touch a button, this one levels itself out, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, if we take a look inside, you can see all of that, right? So good storage inside there. Excellent construction, I may add, right? From the Eagle all the way up to the Pinnacle, folks. I mean, you have top of the line construction. You have the, the Stronghold VBL, the vacuum bond laminated sidewalls. You have the Magnum. Uh, truss system up top. I mean, Jayco does a phenomenal job for construction. They're very well known for it. Right here, you know, this, you can have just a little bit of prep space if you want to pull out. Myself, personally, I'd probably use this for an ice maker. Put a little ice maker right here, plug it in. You have that spot for that same Bluetooth unit to plug in right there. A little wet bar if you want it there too, right? So that's probably what I'd use that for. Now, if you want to do some cooking, come on back with me. Let me show you. You can see right back here, it comes with the Capital Grill. You can pull that out, do all your cooking right there. You have your refrigerator, you have a spot for a TV, storage up top, those beautiful windows I showed you inside, you can see where those are right there. And in the back, folks, this one also has a 3,000 pound hitch with a four-way. So if you wanna tow a trailer or boat behind it, as long as your state allows it, which this one's pretty big, uh, so you may not be able to, but if your state allows it, you can, plus you can use it for an accessory. Folks, this is just one of the uh, several Jayco fifth wheels we're gonna show you this week, especially in this segment. They're absolutely beautiful. This is the Eagle 357 MDOK. If you're interested, you're gonna wanna make sure you text the word RV to 46642 because you can pick this one up for under 15 bucks a day.
Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. The second Jayco fifth wheel on this list is an absolute beauty. You want to talk about a unique floor plan, a unique layout, this one definitely hits that mark. You have this beautiful island right here in the center, perfect for entertainment space, very unique kitchen, solid surface countertops, plenty of sleeping, and the ability to sleep four. Folks, this is the 2021 Jayco Eagle 319 MLOK, and this floor plan is definitely more than okay. I absolutely love it. The big opposing slides here in this whole living area really help to open this space up. And something that really, again, makes this one unique is this right here. And so I just wanna address it real quick because a lot of times when we're talking about a rear living floor plan, um, you know, you, the reason a lot of people get rear living is because they want that huge countertop in the back, right? You want a ton of countertop space. Now, this one doesn't necessarily have that, but what it does have is this. And this gives you a ton of prep space still, right? You know what? That's usually what, that's what you want the countertop for, but it's nice countertop height. It's nice and high, and it's perfect for entertaining. You have bar stools. You know, and the thing about this is for me, well, yes, I, I might, you know, sit at the dinette and have a meal. This right here is probably where I'd have the majority of my meals. Maybe on the other side if I'm watching TV, uh, but I love this right here. And for entertaining, you know, when I'm at home, uh, the majority of the time if we're in the kitchen, my wife and friends and everyone else is sitting or standing rather around the island and everyone's talking and having a good time. And this allows exactly that. And with all the other seating in here, you can really have uh, just, you know, again, in great entertainment space, which is what I love about this one. It still gives you the benefits of that rear living with this big island, or sorry, the rear kitchen with the big island, but it also gives you that entertainment space that a lot of times a rear kitchen is lacking. It's also very unique in the fact they went with the wood rather than solid surface, and I think it was a good choice. I think it's a little bit softer, right? A little bit warmer than if they would have used the solid surface uh, throughout here. Now, right there on the camp side is the TV. So if you do want to watch TV, again, you have theater seating directly across. You have this sofa that is midship. So you have great viewing angles to that. But as I mentioned, if you just want to talk, you can sit here on the sofa. You can talk to who's ever in the theater seating at the dinette, standing around the, the, the kitchen island there. And this also folds out into a bed. So, you know, I mentioned this one can sleep four. And this is where you get that extra sleeping space. You fold that out. You can have two lovebirds cuddle up right here, you know, maybe after a night of hanging out and having a good time. Of course, storage right above that as well with the glass. I think glass was a good choice. Helps break up the wood look, uh, look a little bit that we see in RVs that a lot of times can just be uh, overpowering, right? So I like that they did help break that out. Coming around the corner, I do want to show you this system. I uh, didn't really get a, a good chance to show you in the last one. But if we take a look here, this is a great system, right? It, it turns this into what they call a smart RV because everything is right here in the panel. I mean, you have climate control. You can control all your lights. You know, we click on here, you can see all of your tank monitoring panels, uh, your, your water heater, if you want it to run off electric gas or both, your water pump, your auto level, right there, right? So hit a button, level everything out, climate control right there. You'll also see, as I said, your lights and the tire pressure monitoring system, which is absolutely awesome, plus your, um, your electronics and your battery on here too. So, you know, if you you want to monitor solar or, you know, again, if you want to monitor your tire pressures, that panel lets you do all of it, which is fantastic. And it's all built right into that uh, central panel. Now, in auxiliary to that, right, what you'll have is these kind of spread throughout for all of your lights. And you will see those kind of, again, throughout, and they will be uh, tailored to whatever is in that space. So, for example, you'll see here a ceiling, pendant, dinette, um, and, and then some other options. And again, on the other wall will be separate. And, of course, in the bedroom, a little bit different yet. Um, but back to the campsite slide here, I do want to show you that underneath this TV, um, you will see that you have your multimedia center there as well as the fireplace. That fireplace, of course, not just looking great, but also kicking out a decent amount of heat, helping to take the chill off in this space. If you are entertaining, man, oh man, I'm telling you, that right there is, uh, is wonderful. It'll be a great look. 
Coming right over here, I'll open this up. You'll see they are adjustable shelves. So that's fantastic, you know, because whatever space you want in there, you can adjust to that. If you want to remove a shelf, obviously it's super simple. You also have a motion sensor light in there. And then once again, they went with glass. And I think it was smart to have this tinted. Um, so that way, you know, you're not seeing what's in there. Nice big microwave storage, three burner recessed cooktop with the glass cover for prep space right there. You will also see the oven and storage underneath, which I love, plus plenty of drawers. Now you see that was slow close and look at this folks, slow close drawers all the way throughout. They did a wonderful job in here. Um, you know, it's one of those things we're starting to look at some nicer amenities, especially at this price point. I mean, folks, this one is starting under $60,000, right? 12 bucks a day is what you can pick this one up for. And you're getting all these beautiful amenities like the lighting, like the whisper quiet AC, you know, so you don't have to yell over each other. I mean, I'm a loud guy and my wife tells me I yell all the time. So she's constantly uh, shushing me, but the fact you don't have to in an RV like this, or if you're watching TV, it's nice and quiet is a huge feature. And again, slow close, you know, you have solid surface. You get this beautiful kitchen island in here. Big tanks, I might add as well, folks. If you're looking to do some boondocking, this one has a 75 gallon fresh tank, as well as a 87 gallon gray tank. That's absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you are boondocking and you have a residential fridge, remember you'll want a generator to be able to run that, but you definitely have the tanks to do so. And even if you're not boondocking, that 87 gray tank, uh, 87 gallon gray tank is fantastic if you don't have sewer hookup at your campsite. Now, right here in the back is your, uh, you know, your sink top as well as some additional countertop space. You kind of have this right, uh, the, the uh, what do you want to call it, bi-level, I guess, right? Kind of a, a two-tier system there so that's kind of cool high-rise faucet under mount sink you have your drinking faucet for drinking water something that jaco does which again is a pretty neat system the lights are on a dimmer so uh, right here if you want to dim those down you can right especially if you have guests it's nice to have some dim lights so that way there is a little bit of lighting if they have to get up and use the bathroom take a look at this this is pretty unique too it kind of matches the kitchen island we saw right kind of like a wood beam going across with lights behind it you know, again, they did a lot of things that are very unique in this layout. Storage up top, as I mentioned, this is the residential Whirlpool fridge freezer combo. The freezer side does have your uh, water dispenser as well as an ice maker built right in, which I love. I love having that ice maker there for any of my beverages. Now, when you take a look at the off camp side slide, we'll see the dinette is a bench seat. You know, so they, they kind of did uh, both here, right? So you have the bench seat on one side, then the other side is freestanding table and chairs. So again, kind of pulling in that residential trend that we've been seeing, because that is pretty common. That does have a leaf to pop out there if you want a little bit of extra space. And then of course, moving in a little bit further, as I mentioned earlier, is that theater seating, and that's directly across from a TV. So folks, I mentioned, I mean, you have a ton of seating, right? Sofa here, theater seating, you have the full dinette, plus you have two uh, stools, and this is a great height if you just want to stand around here with a glass of wine and uh, talk about how terrible of a person Victoria is on The Bachelor, you can do that right here, right? You have the capability to do it. Making our way up the steps, we'll move into the bathroom. And I like the bathroom here as well. Um, you know what, come on in here, Fritz. I'll, I'll just kind of show everyone a couple different things. Now, one of the great things about a fifth wheel is most of the time you get some shower height, right? We are, we are up a level. We have plenty of space, especially with that skylight. I'm six foot tall. I could be 6'2", still standing here, no problem. I can spin around even with the door closed. I have good space right there. Porcelain bowl. You know, the, the mirror is backlit, which is nice. You know, big countertop space, actual tile backsplash in here. Just a beautiful bathroom. And then if we move into the uh, bedroom, if we're able to sneak out there, we can see the, the bedroom is beautiful too. So you have the, uh, as you move up front, the TV and the dresser right there, the big bed. That's a, in a slide out as well. I love the slide out bed. Up front is our wardrobe, plenty of room there. And once again, you can see the quiet, cool AC. So as you're sleeping, it's not super loud in here. They just do a wonderful job. Now, as I Take a step out. One of the things I want to point out, right, is on these steps. So we'll open this up just to kind of show you. But these steps right here, these more ride step above steps, they're great steps, but a lot of times they are very heavy. Now what you will notice is I can take my pinky finger and I can lift these steps up with one finger. Folks, it is really that easy because it is strut assisted. So, you know, that's a big deal for a lot of people because sometimes, you know, if you're, 
get a little bit older, whatever it may be, maybe you had an injury and it's hard to bring those steps up and down, this makes it simple. Plus you get the big grab handle to make that even easier. So you have full control coming up and down. And of course, aluminum treads with the grip tape on there to make sure that you know those aren't gonna rust out on you. They stay looking nice. And that big grab handle gives you a ton of control. Let's head on up to the front and then we'll make our way back. Um, so all the way up front here, you get the painted front cap. You can see that, you know, kind of the faux window up front because remember we have a wardrobe there. So you certainly don't want a window, it'd be a waste, but it gives that illusion, gives a beautiful look. Huge storage compartment right in the center right there. You know, if you want a generator, you know, there is option for it. You can have one installed in there. You will, as coming back a little bit further, you'll see the auto level system. Folks, that's a big one. We're talking about fifth wheels, right? Uh, when you start to move up, you know, a little bit, then the Eagle definitely is, you know, kind of that, that uh, mid-tier to upper-tier fifth wheel. And I absolutely love auto level because you touch a button, it does the rest for you. It really takes out a ton of the setup time, makes life super simple. That way you can kick back, relax, start having a cocktail a little bit sooner. Two power awnings. You have your main one here, another one on the slide out, so this whole thing has coverage. Uh, of course, you have some speakers out here. Outside kitchen, I love this, especially on what's considered a couple's model. A lot of times you get the outside kitchen, you have to go to a bunk model. Not at all the case here. The outside grill, you have a spot for your beverages, you have 12 volts up top, some additional storage for solo cups or whatever else you want, and the same unit we saw inside. We might, I don't think I highlighted it, but uh, right there is for a Bluetooth Furion speaker. So if you want that speaker, you can bring the party from inside, bring it right out here, vice versa, and you're good to go. Dropping down underneath, Goodyear tires on here, folks. It's a big deal for a lot of people. And so you know that you have the, uh, the American tires, you have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system in there. It does have the Dexter axles and also the, uh, the never adjust brakes. And on the back, this one has a 3,000 pound hitch with a four-way. So if you want to tow a boat or something behind you, if your estate allows it and you're not over the length, you can do so. Or if even if you just want to use it for an accessory hitch, you can do that too. Folks, if you're loving this one, you're going to want to text the word RV to 46642 because that will lock in the show pricing. If you like it, maybe you want something a little bit different, that is okay. Text the word FRESH to 46642. Let us help you navigate through what's out there for rear kitchens to find the perfect RV for you. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal of a price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Well, I told you we had over $250,000 worth of giveaways. My goodness, we're on week six, and we've got to, we're going to start the day, day one here, with something huge, Bryce. And uh, I tell you what, we're going to give away a UT250, the Coleman Power Sport, with, um, with an amazing winner. But we're not going to do that quite yet. Not yet, not yet. But and, and just to let you guys know, you're eligible for these giveaways. So you're seeing all these people winning. If you're not registered, then you're not eligible. But to be eligible, you got to register. So text URVS to 46642 or comment below URVS to get signed up. You know, my wife watches every week and she's like, Sean, I really, and she, I, I keep telling her, honey, don't bother. We, <laughs> we're family. We can't. Okay. Anyway, it's good to see you guys again, yeah. though. You brought the family with you. Yep. Uh, last week we were out and you guys were gone yeah. after spending five weeks together. Yeah, it felt like a long time. We were, yeah, all through Texas, New Mexico, went through Monument Valley. That was Beautiful. awesome. We were in Bowling Green, uh, Kentucky. One of the things I learned going from Tennessee to Bowling Green across the border is how the uh, wonderful police officers who do a great job on the highway, by the way, <laughs> oh, no. to keep us safe, <laughs> sit in the center divider sometimes when you're coming over the hill and they happen to be, and you may be going a little too fast. Well, when you're in an RV, you're supposed to take your time, you know? Which is what we're here for, <laughs> to relax and get you where you need to go with your destination. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and give away this Coleman Power Sports UT250 right now. Here is our winner! Barry Pope. 
Barry Woo. Pope, you just won yourself an incredible vehicle. I'll tell you what, we've got uh, all the kids, Sean and Renee's kids, we got Bryce's kids in these, they're playing, they're having a great time, and this is what it's all about, taking the family on the road and having a good time. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna, these, actually, when we were in Texas, someone came and bought, what, 15 of these for yes. all of his grandkids? In Houston. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. All right, we're going back into our uh, incredible giveaways with our incredible RV section, the fifth wheels with the Jayco North Point. Now, wait until you see the loft above the bunk room, but also the cameras. It's got a backup camera and an amazing video screen that you're not going to believe. Ian? Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Jayco Eagles are absolutely beautiful, but if you want to step up into Jayco fifth wheel luxury, that's when we step up into the North Point. And I absolutely love this fifth wheel. Uh, not only the North Point line, but more specifically this exact layout. I think they knocked it out of the park. There are a lot of things that I really love that I think you are going to as well. First off, you can see that we have the cottage white interior, which I am just a huge fan of. I think Jayco did an excellent job, you know, bringing in kind of that, again, that farmhouse look, but still maintaining some darker colors. I think they, again, just did a great job bringing those two things together. As you would expect, you can see here we're in a rear living layout, so we have slides that are going to be directly across from each other. Now, you'll see the freestanding table and chairs right up front in the slide out. This, of course, just pops right out. That extends. That's your leaf. You have two more chairs. If you want to sit four people here, you can. Take a look at that floor. You once again, you'll notice that this one has the linoleum, so it is a completely flush floor. You can't even tell basically that that is a slide right there, which I love, right? It just makes it look very streamlined all the way throughout. Big windows here too to let in a lot of natural light. And during the night, you have a ton of lights. You have the lights right above the dinette. I love that there are two to help with that lighting. You know, if you're playing a game or something like that, you're going to be able to see the table. You have wall sconces. You have some button lights up top. And there's just a ton of stuff here just to help really brighten that space up. And then when we get into the theater seating, you'll see that this is Stacy Stewart. And that is a, kind of an honor to Jayco's designer. And, and Stacy does a fantastic job. I mean, again, you see the wood colors in here. And we go up front and see the bed. You'll see the beautiful bedding. And the furniture option is great because you have good lumbar support back here. And that's a big deal for me. Uh, you will also notice these ones are completely powered, meaning that you have heat, you have massage, and the footrests will come up and lower back down. All that is powered, super simple and easy to use. Across the back, you get that big uh, triple sofa there, the, the triple cushion sofa that is a trifold bed, so that pulls out. So you get great sleeping space for any additional guests. Both sides have storage. Lift this up for you. You can see right there that you have storage in the center, a storage right down in there, which is very unique. And you will notice the electrical outlets, in case you need to plug anything in, USB ports, windows all the way around. Again, wall sconces on both sides, and then the storage across the top. Uh, if we take a quick look at the ceiling of those couple things here, you have your ceiling fan, you also have um, your uh, quiet, cool AC. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> So that way it's nice and quiet. So whether you're sitting here watching TV or just having conversation, entertaining guests, you don't have to yell at each other to hear each other or yell uh, to be able to hear over, or, sorry, or you don't have to turn the TV way up to be able to hear over the AC. Now, straight across from that theater seating is your TV. If you don't want it because, you know, you just want to focus on each other, then keep it down. But if you do want the TV, just like that, it pops right up. Super simple and easy to use. Nice big TV as well. So whether you're sitting on the couch, the dinette, or the theater seating, you'll have a great view to it. And you have a great sound system. You'll see right down there your speakers plus your multimedia center and the fireplace underneath, which not only looks great, but also is a great space heater. Now, one of the things I love about the kitchen as we step into it, one, is the true solid surface countertop. So beautiful countertops on here. You have your drinking faucet. Now, this is tied to a, uh, a water bottle in your pass-through. So no matter where you go, you will always have fresh drinking water. You know, if you have an inline filter, of course, you know, the whole house option, if you get that, that's great. Uh, that will help, uh, you know, for your water here as well as your faucets. But I love that no matter where you're at, even if you're boondocking, you'll still have fresh water there. You will notice uh, because we have solid surface, it allows us to recess the stainless steel sink, drying rack on one side, cutting board on the other, power tower right over here with your outlets. But I think one of the biggest things for me is this over to this side. Now you can remove this, right? If you want to take this out, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, if you want to take it out, you can. But I love all the extra st um, prep space you get by having this. Just this massive, beautiful butcher's block right here. 
So just like that, you can remove it, and you can just store this under the bed nice and easily. I'll set it over here right now. And then, you know, again, if you don't want it, you want more space, boom, you just put that in like that, and now you open all of this up. Also in the kitchen, a couple other things I really like, spot for a trash can. If you know me, I love to have a dedicated place for a trash can. You have that right there. And this is pretty cool too. Easy access pots and pan storage. That pulls out just like that. You have a lot of height in here, which I love. So if you have some of those residential pots and pans, you have a spot to put them. You also see the pantry right over to this side. And again, that beautiful cottage white interior, but right there, big pantry. More storage, or uh, sorry, more prep space here with storage underneath. You have your drawers. You have to have a few in any kitchen to make it functional, right? You have that residential cooktop. I love this big oven here, four burner cooktop on there, microwave, storage all around that, and a residential refrigerator with water and ice maker in the door. Folks, this is a Whirlpool brand. It's a you know, very well-known name brand. Ton of space in here, and I personally love having the water as well as the ice right there because if you know me, you know I like to have a few cocktails when I camp, and that makes it easier for my ice. Stepping into the bonus room, right, or the bunk room, whatever you want to call it, that's really what sets this one apart. You have that beautiful rear living, but you have this right back here too. Sofa down underneath with the bunk above, so you have two sleeping spaces. This bunk is 300 pound weight capacity on there, which is great. And then if we flip around to the other side, you'll notice a couple things. This is what makes this room so versatile. One, you have a TV, so if you want to you know, have the kids in here to watch TV, set up a gaming system, great. Maybe you just want to watch something different than uh, your loved ones. They can be out there, you can be in here, be watching two different things. You also have a desk, so if you need a workstation, you have that as well. Or if kids need to do homework, you're good to go. You have a spot to set up a table. If you want to eat in here, you can. Plus, you have drawers on the side and a wardrobe right over here to the side, so that way you have a place to put clothes. So all in all, this is just a wonderful uh, kind of, again, like bonus room, bunk room, whatever you want to call it. It just gives you a lot of extra space. Now, as we step out, not only do you have this, but as we make our way up top, you'll see you also get a loft up here. So uh, right here will be your ladder so you can climb up in it, and this is all extra sleeping space. So you can sleep two more people in here. So you want to talk, you know, if you're looking for something, you want to be able to sleep, you know, seven people, this one can do it, folks. And the great thing about it is if you love this one, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642, and that will lock in your show pricing. Uh, this one, you're looking at 85, 995 is where it's starting at. That is a great price for what you get. Here's the other thing. Maybe you love the mid-bunk setup, but this one's a little bit out of your price point. You know, it, trust me, you're not alone. This is a luxury RV. That's okay. We have other mid-bunks with a little bit lower price point, right? Get you into something a little more affordable, something that's going to fit your budget. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 and let our experts help you out and show you some of those different options. Fritz, come on up here, show everyone the bathroom. This is a gorgeous bathroom, I love it. You have a big linen closet, you have a porcelain bowl, the shower has a beautiful surround on there. You have the, uh, the bar for your hand wand plus a teak seat. You know, uh, the, the really nice sink top in there too. I mean, just a, a stunning bathroom all around. And then we make our way up into the master. You know, it doesn't stop there. You still have great features in here. Again, quiet, cool AC, making sure that, you know, you're, you're able to sleep. It doesn't sound like you're in hurricane force winds while you're trying to sleep. The TV's angled down already for you. So if you're laying in bed, you don't, you know, it's not a weird angle. And take a look at that bed. Beautiful, beautiful bedding that they have on here. Most manufacturers, the bedding's not great. Uh, here though, this is actually bedding that I would actually keep. Like I really, I think they did a great job. The comforter is actually usable. It's, you know, comforter quality. Uh, just wonderful work there. And then up front is washer dryer prep. And if you take a look inside there, you will see that you have hanging rods, shoe storage, and you also have a laundry hamper. So beautiful interior on this one. But here's the thing, folks. It doesn't stop inside. As we make our way out, this is where this one really knocks it out of the park, in my opinion, right? Come on up front here. I just want to show you a couple things. One of, well, I guess we'll start uh, all the way up front. You can see here, if you want generator, you can pop right down in there, right? You can have a generator in here if you want one. You'll also see right up there, that is our hydraulic pump. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that this one's going to have hydraulic slides, hydraulic auto level which, you know, if you've uh, done doing some research, you know it's one of the best type of leveling systems out there. Uh, extremely strong, very durable, and again, it's easy to access that pump in the event you ever need to do any troubleshooting on it. 
Taking a look up top, you'll see not one, but two power awnings on there. So you have coverage across this entire side, frameless windows. One of my favorite parts about this one, look at this folks. You have a little handle here. If you wanna watch TV, you can just pull it out. Whoop, just like so, there we go. Spin it around, boom, now you're good to go. You wanna push it in, get a little bit closer. You can go just like that. Everyone can set up chairs right around here, then just tuck it away when you're done. It's one of the big problems with having an outside TV is where do you put it? But this it already mounts, just pulls out for you. Super simple and easy to use. You can see your central vac, in case you need to vac anything out. And one of my other favorite parts when we talk about an outside kitchen, right? A lot of manufacturers will put a cooktop. Well, I don't use a cooktop a ton when I'm outside. I use a grill or I use a griddle. And look at this, it comes with a Blackstone griddle. You wanna talk about something you're gonna use? I'm telling you folks, this is it. You can cook breakfast, you can cook lunch, you can cook dinner, everything right on here. Super easy to use and I love that they, uh, they, they realize that people want more than a cooktop outside when they're cooking. You also see your outside fridge. That, of course, is my personal favorite part because that's where I'm going to put my beer or, you know, if, if I'm feeling lucky or feeling nice, maybe I'll put the kids' juice in there, right, so they don't have to run inside. Uh, or grandkids, right, something like this. It's probably going to be more grandkids. Hey, who knows, right? Maybe it'll be kids and grandkids. It'll be everybody. Uh, you'll see a couple outside speakers there as well as a spray port, and I like this too. Again, we talked about the grandkids coming. Just hook up water right there. can spray off the feet you know, after they come in from the beach, dry them off before they head inside. And speaking of going inside, you have the upgraded steps. This is the more ride step above step system with aluminum treads. You see you have grip on there. You have the four step system, which sticks out quite a ways. Because of that, they give you the upgraded grab handle. So it is much easier to enter and exit the RV. You have a lot more control. Also, there is a light on there, so the steps are backlit. So if you're trying to get up there at night, you can do that very easily as well. You take a look underneath, Goodyear tires, folks. That's a big thing for a lot of people. You know, if you're sick of having Chinese tires, you hear of all these blowouts, you want something that's American made, this one does have those Goodyear tires. Uh, and also you have the Dexter axles with the easy adjust brakes, so you don't have to adjust them. It does it automatically, making sure that your fifth wheel will stop when you want to stop. And you get the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, which gives you three inches of travel, helping to take out a lot of those potholes. Plus on the back of this one is an accessory hitch in case you want a bike rack or anything else back there. Folks, this thing is knocking it out of the park. This is the 2021 Jayco North Point 377 RLBH. Again, if you're interested in this one, starting at just $17.20 a day, simply text the word RV to 46642. This is Bryce, I'm Nelly, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. joined by the jerseys and when they're not out geocaching you're in the <laughs> rv cooking right yep oh <laughs> yeah i'm excited i'm a little sad tiffany is not here because this is like her jam yeah right <laughs> yeah yes now we have we have all sorts of different goodies uh when it comes to cooking at a campsite right whether you're in an rv whether you're just in a tent you have a campfire there are a ton of options people kind of sometimes get locked in and they're like oh well, what am i going to cook well mm -hmm. there are tons of different options and a lot of different things available for it yeah. Mm -hmm. um, over here, I have a couple. Now, these these two right here are some of my personal favorite. I had to Let's have them. See it. It's not necessarily cooking, but <laughs> I don't survive without oh, coffee in the morning. So I have to have coffee. And then at night, I like to wind down a little bit. And uh, right here, we go with an ice maker. And that's one for All me, right. you know, just pour myself a little cocktail. I definitely uh, appreciate having some ice. Very cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. I saw this section over here, and this is what I'm all about. Yes. Is the compact, I mean, the RV. You gotta, you need see that. to be smart about what you bring in. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
And then we actually just saw this and we're like, we need one of these. I don't know how we don't have one of these. That's but true. it's a cutting board and a strainer and one. You put it over the sink. You can wash fruit in it. You can strain your pasta, but then have your cutting board. Well, you I know just, Oh, I was going to say, we were talking just before this. Every time we do one of these segments, Millie and I go back in the store and actually buy something. We, do. we are getting this straight <laughs> yeah. after. I'm not even uh, kidding. I, it, and it's perfect. It's awesome. Like you said, it's everything in one. Fits right over the sink. I love it. Yeah. Another good one, too, is this right here. So different, uh, different cookware, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will have induction cooktops in their RV. You have to make sure you have a pan that's going to be compatible with it. Or even if you don't want to use propane, if you have propane, you want to do something electric, that's what this guy right here is for, right? Nice single mm -hmm. burner, nice and easy. Yep. Just toss nice, it right yeah. on top of there. Nice when you're plugged in. You don't have to use your propane for that. So exactly. nice. Yeah, I like that. Why don't Th you guys talk a little bit about your side Yeah, here. this whole domain over here. This, Even if you Boom. don't have a rig and you're going out camping. This is the camping I, essentials you need. Yeah, I'm trying to find something you wouldn't need here. Um, this <laughs> would all be a, provide a great experience for you. So There is one thing we haven't tried is this pie iron. And this I, is actually, this is another thing we're going to be getting out. Every store show. Nelly brings up, let's get this. So, okay. so for the record, when we were, you know, we talked uh, earlier and we were talking about hobo pies. And again, that may not be the appropriate <laughs> term, but this is what I was referring to is using a oh, pie iron. Oh, okay. These things are fantastic. I, I'm telling you. Hot sandwiches, for, calzones, rolls, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a little hack. A lot of people me. will talk about like pie filling or maybe some stew, but the number one is pizza. Kids love it. You take some pepperoni, you put a little cheese in there, cook it over the campfire. Ooh. It is spot on. Sold. Done. Getting mm -hmm. this So we're getting two things so far <laughs> after this. Um, this is something I'm pretty jazzed about. We actually have these and uh, pumped that Camping World's carrying these now. So Wolfham Sticks. Everyone loves s'mores, but gourmet s'mores here. This, these is, things, this, is the new, this is the real deal. Yeah, this isn't just like put it in the fire, wait for it to blur, burn, and then you blow it out, you know? <laughs> you put it in the hot spot and just... It has a handle Churn it. so you can rotate That's your cool. food. That's cool. Give it the perfect golden crisp. And then the, I love the end tips they have. You can put the biscuit, you know, pop the biscuit oh. dough, wrap oh, yeah. that around here, and it makes a We've perfect cup that. to fill with a little Nutella, we did that. strawberries. We did like chili, that. too, when we did it. That's true. It's a little, little bit chili of cups. some extra goodness. Oh, chili, I like that. Yeah. That's creative. You'll look like you know what's up with your whole campsite if you, <laughs> if you have are some providing those. those. Yep. So, pretty yeah. sweet. No, you guys have a bunch of great stuff over there. I mean, cast iron, instant yeah. grill. Put this grill over the fire pit, steak and grill. Yeah. Cast iron, good for uh, frittatas. Just learned how to do that. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much again. When it comes to campsite cooking, there are so many great things. I'm glad that I uh, found something, a couple, wow. couple items for you guys as well. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. And the last of the Jayco fifth wheels we have is the Pinnacle. And it's aptly named because this is an absolutely gorgeous RV, one of the top of the line. And for Jayco, there's, you know, you have the North Point, which we just saw, which is beautiful. The Pinnacle takes it one step up. All right, they have some similar floor plans, a little bit of overlap, but there's definitely some differences. And if you're really looking to get the quality, the luxury, then the Pinnacle is the one. You can get full body paint on this one if you so choose. Now, this is a rear living floor plan. And one of the things you will notice is how much space we have in between here. And there's two reasons for that. One, we have slides that are right across from each other, right? So that really helps to open up this space right here. The other big thing, is the fact that this one has wide body construction. Um, and that's gonna be important because it really does help open it up. Now it's only a couple inches, uh, but you know, there's some things in life where a couple inches make a big difference and this is one of them. We're talking about RV space having a couple inches wider throughout the whole RV, not only allows for more unique layouts, but also just makes it feel a lot more open. And now you will see some similarities as we go through here, a uh, little bit different colors. You can get the cottage white in the pinnacle if you want. But let's start right over here. One of the big differences, one of the things you'll notice right away is the buffet style dinette we have. Now we have this because this uh, is not only a great 
option for a table, something we've seen in the motorhome industry. But the other big bonus to it is that because this comes out a little bit, it allows for an outside TV to be housed in here. So, we're, you know, again, we, it's been very popular in motorhomes. We're starting to see more and more of it in fifth wheels. Now, this, of course, does extend out. So if you have extra guests, you have plenty of seating there. You also have storage. One of the other things you'll notice is if you look down below, it is a seamless flush floor. You have the vinyl. I mean, you can hardly tell that there is any kind of uh, differentiation between the slide out floor and the main floor right there. Uh, insulation all throughout, it's very well insulated. When we go outside, you'll see the valves are insulated as well if you plan on doing some colder weather camping. Beautiful lighting all throughout. They do a really good job of having a lot of auxiliary lighting. And that's something that really just, you know, brings on that residential feel, right? It feels a little more, uh, just a little bit more like home. Uh, it's a little bit softer in here. You can see they, you know, use like a little bit more orange light. You have an Edison bulb, just kind of, again, helping to feel a little bit more residential. You know, you have actual glassware on here. Um, so I, again, I think they did a beautiful job all throughout. Now, one of the other uh, things you will notice that is different between the North Point and the Pinnacle is the shades. Because, sure, you still have your nighttime shades, the blackout shades, but you also get day shades. And as you would expect, both of those are going to be roller style. Moving a little bit further is the dual theater seating, and this is right across from the TV. Now, extremely comfortable. Um, you can see here, Stacy Stewart, this is actually named after the Jayco designer uh, as, as you know, in honor of her, and she does a wonderful job. One of the things I really like about the, the Jayco, uh, the Pinnacle Furniture, is this right here, the lumbar support. That, for me, is something that is oftentimes missing, but when you sit here, that lumbar is super comfortable, and you know, I can sit here, I can watch TV, I can hang out. Um, you know, I don't feel like I'm sinking in, like my back is being bent. So with, as far as RV furniture goes, I'm super impressed, uh, if nothing else, with just this extra padding they put here. And of course, you have all the features like you would expect. You know, it can light up, uh, you have heat, you have massage, and then it is also powered for your footrest, so you don't have to try to worry about, you know, using your legs to close them, USB ports in there, cup holders, a little bit of storage right there in the center. Now, another thing, you know, because you have that wide body, it allows you to have not only a three cushion sofa in the back, but also the end tables. So this huge sofa right here, the great thing about this folks, is that this does fold out into a bed. It's a tri-fold. So if you have additional guests that wanna stay the night, you can fold this out. You have a big bed. Two people can very easily sleep there. And with the nightstands, of course, you will also notice the, uh, the electrical outlets here. And something else that's very unique is the easy access storage. You see that just flips right up. Right? A, a lot of times what manufacturers will do is they will put like ho the, this front will just be a blank so you can reach in there. But I like that these kind of flip up. It makes it look a little more complete and hides any of those items you do want to stuff in there. Storage across the top, as you'd expect. Of course, you know, the nice barreled ceiling there really helps open it up. Uh, while we're taking a look at the ceiling, Fritz, you want to pop a look, uh, take a look up here to show everyone. I just kind of want to show you some of the features. So a few things. One, you get a ceiling fan. Again, you know, kind of that residential look and feel. And it will help... Uh, you know, kind of circulate the air if you don't want to, you know, like run your AC heat or anything like that. You want to open up a few windows, you can use that. It's perfect. You'll also see the quiet, cool AC. So uh, the big, a nice thing about that is when you're out here having conversation, watching TV, you don't have to yell at each other to be able to hear. And it does a great job keeping everything nice and cool. Beautiful light fixture right there above your kitchen island. Again, with that auxiliary lighting. You have the max air fan right beyond that to really help circulate that air if you want to move it through there. And if you take a look up top, you'll also notice uh, that this one has the, the behind the slide out fascias, there's lighting there too. So again, just great job overall with lighting. Now, if we take a look here, this is where the TV is. And I love when manufacturers do this as well because sometimes we don't want the TV to be a focal point, right? We, you know, if you can tuck it away like it is, you don't have to worry about it. You can just sit here. You're more apt to read a book or have conversation rather than rely on electronics for entertainment. But if you do want you know, to watch TV or maybe the grandkids are coming, you, know, you want to be able to watch a movie, no problem. You can pop it up just like this. You can see it's a nice big TV. Comes up very easily. And you know, again, now you, can, you have that straight shot right across from the theater seating. Directly underneath that is your multimedia center as well as a fireplace. And folks, that fireplace not only looks nice, but it also acts as a great space heater. Now, as we move into the kitchen, 
you'll see solid surface countertops. And again, some of the things that really start to pop when it comes to um, you know construction and quality. So solid surface countertops. Your windows, I like what they did here. They use, you know, they're actually wood framed windows rather than having like the Lamberkins and stuff that a lot of manufacturers use. Now, in the kitchen, they normally won't, but even in your living space, they still frame them out in window, uh, or still frame them out in wood, and you have actual tile backsplash. And you'll have that here as well as there, and even in the bathroom, which we'll see in just a moment. Another thing I absolutely love is the residential style cooktop and oven. This is a four burner cooktop on here. Generally, you get three. I love having more. Take a look at the space we have underneath there in the oven. Not only is that great pots and pan storage, but also if you want to cook something bigger, if you want to cook a, a turkey, you know, a Thanksgiving roast, you can do it in there. The beautiful solid surface here, again, apron front on your sink, and it comes with um, your, your solid surface sink top covers too. So this whole thing is great prep space. It's absolutely beautiful. You have your drinking faucet right there for drinking water. There's a jug of clean water that uh, you put in the pass through. It's piped up in there, so no matter what, kind of water you have at the uh, at the campground you have fresh drinking water now it does have a whole house filter in here as well so all your water will be filtered but it's just nice to know that you always have that option pull this out see the trash can over here plenty of storage there underneath pantry over on this side right next to our big nor cold fridge freezer combo this one does run off both propane and electric you'll see the storage up top as well as down below now if we come up top real quick, I do want to show just kind of the bathroom and the bedroom. There's so much in here, folks, I just don't have enough time to show you everything. But Fritz, why don't you come on up, show everyone this gorgeous bathroom, right? You have a, a beautiful surround in that shower right there, plenty of standing space, linen closet. Um, you know, your, your bowl there is porcelain. You have the lighting around the mirror, the gorgeous countertop in there. I mean, just a beautiful, well set up bathroom. Excellent electronic system in here. Everything is controlled from little remotes. Uh, it's a, what they call a smart RV system. Um, and the, the main control is out in that hallway, but this one has, not only can you control your lights, but you can control your AC, your heat, it has a tire pressure monitor, you control your auto level, everything from one panel in the hallway, which is great. Slide out bed there, beautiful pillows, and take, take a look at this. This just makes you wanna snuggle up, doesn't it? Just wanna bury my face in it, right? Like it's uh, super soft. Uh, I love the bedding that they have chosen in here. Again, I think Stacy did an amazing job. Now when you take a look up front, this of course is your wardrobe. Washer dryer prep in here if you want washer and dryer. You have hanging space right there, plus storage space for shoes, and I'll open this up. If you just want to take a look in there, show everyone the, uh, the laundry chute that you have in there, or rather laundry uh, hamper, so you have a spot for your dirty clothes. TV at the foot of the bed. Folks, I'm telling you, this thing is fully loaded. And then, as we make our way outside, a couple different things I want to point out here. One is the door itself. Uh, so what you'll notice is you do have the window, and you can see through that, right? It's tinted. The thing I love about this is for privacy. So if someone comes to your door, they're knocking on your door, as you can see, they can't see in, but you can still see out. Uh, frameless windows all the way throughout as well, which are beautiful. Uh, you know, the, the great thing about frameless windows, they look nicer, but also you can keep them open while it's raining because the way they tilt open, so you can still get airflow and not a bunch of water in there, and your seals are protected better as well. Let's come around to the front real quick. Again, we gotta kind of race through this. I'm running out of time, but right up front is your painted front cap with LED lights. You have the Moride Kingpin right underneath here, which is gonna be wonderful. It'll help uh, with some of that bucking and chucking as you're starting and stopping, using the rubber to absorb that shock. Take a look underneath. If you want a generator, you can get one from the manufacturer. Everything is very clean. You have the equalizer auto level set up in here as well. So just touch a button and everything will level out, making life super simple. Not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. And if you notice, they color matched right here, right? Your legs have color matched. They're not black like most manufacturers. So it just makes everything a lot more seamless. Plenty of garage space. You will also see right there is your uh, central vac. So you do have central vac in here. You have speakers outside. If you want water, you have quick water hookup. The thing I love about this, again, the grandkids are coming. You come back from the beach, great. Take a water hose, spray off your feet right here, dry them off, you can head right in. The grab handle is one of the most unique ones, right? There's not a ton of manufacturers that use this one, but I love it because you'll see you have four steps, right? Nice big steps. They are backlit, by the way, too. 
but from this very first step, I have excellent control going all the way up. And same thing when I come down, right? You know, I can even use this one. I have this little one right here. If I have bad knees, it gives you excellent control when going in and out of the RV. This is the outside TV we talked about when we were inside. Dropping down, you have the Dexter never adjust uh, axles, or sorry, the Dexter axles with never adjust electric brakes, meaning that you don't have to, just like it says, you don't have to adjust them. They will adjust itself. Brian, you warned me about that hole and I stepped in it anyway. <laughs> Making our way back a little bit further here. One of the things I love about the Pinnacle is the fact that it has a rear cap. This is something we don't see very often in the industry, but it gives, it makes it nice and complete, makes it harder for water to get in. You have a uh, 300 pound accessory hitch down there, a powered power cord reel. I mean, folks, this thing is absolutely loaded. There's so much more that I wanna show you on the outside. Beautiful construction on the Pinnacle. If you're interested in this one, if this is the one for you, simply text the word RV to 46642. This one is starting at 85995. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today.